Hello, there are lots of people on YouTube telling you not to buy an electric vehicle. And today I'm going to find out why. And I'm going to be doing some fact checking to see if, if their information is correct and where they're getting that information from. Many of them have got hundreds and thousands of followers and views. So they're doing something right, that's for sure. I try not to look at them, but there's so many. And uh, a lot of it has come out of uh, a Thatcher Research, an auto risk intelligence company funded by the government that keeps cropping up. And there are many YouTubers telling you not to buy an EV because of this report. One says, get all of these electric cars together and burn them all. Don't buy an electric vehicle. They're rubbish and not worth the trouble. Buy a diesel car instead. That's what they say. So I'm going to look into see where this information is coming from. I hope you can like and subscribe and please take a look at my other videos. That would be fantastic. Now, I've had my Tesla EV for just under two years. Uh, previous 48 years, uh, I was driving petrol and diesel cars. And if anyone should be stuck in the past, it's me. But I'm completely sold on my Tesla EV. I was a driver in the RAF. Uh, and then a rep driving thousands of miles a week. So I've driven over a million miles in the 14 cars that I've had, as well as company cars, petrol and diesel. So if anyone should be stuck in the past, it's me. So I need to look at why these people are saying these things and doing some fact checking. The outrage comes from a government sponsored report, the Thatcher Research. The report says the urgent need to cut carbon emissions is prompting a rapid move towards electrified mobility in the UK. According to the Society of Motor Manufacturers, battery electric vehicles, BVs, representing a 40% sales increase over 2021, a total market share of 16.5% as the UK aims towards widespread electric vehicle adoption. This rate is expected to increase significantly in the coming months and years. And the report says that the electric vehicles are 25% more expensive to repair than their ICE equivalents and take 14% longer to repair. So this information has prompted a number of YouTubers to say this is just another reason to burn them all and that they're rubbish and buy a diesel car instead. The Thatcham report says there were 9,400 vehicles involved in accidents with battery damage in 2022. So my own calculations show that with 600,000 EVs on our roads in 2022, that's a probability of between 1.5% and 2% of it, an EV being in an accident. So should an EV be involved in an accident, the repair could be 25% more than a gas car. And is that because electric cars are more expensive to buy at the moment until prices come down, as I would expect a Mercedes or a Jag to cost more to repair than a Ford? And as more higher mileage second-hand electric cars become onto the market, the price will come down. As more mechanics and repair shops get accustomed to repairing electric vehicles, it will be more competitive. Now, my Tesla was more expensive to buy initially but charging at home, uh, the cost is a quarter the cost of gas. Servicing is 95% less. And Tesla supercharging is about half the price of gas or petrol or diesel. These are not made up facts, they're true. Since my very first Ford Anglia that cost me £20 in 1972, it was a 1960 model. I've always kept accurate numbers and figures of cost of all my cars. And my Audi that I had two years ago was a lot more expensive to run than my Tesla Model 3. So also the report quotes as government guidance, which has upset a lot of people. And another reason to ditch your electric car in favour of diesel because of the following government guidance. The Thatcham report has accepted government guidance as fact. So the UK government guidelines state that damaged electric vehicles with a suspected damaged HV system should be stored in an outside quarantine area, 15 metres from other nearby objects, where assessors will monitor the fire risk for up to 48 hours after the incident. Well, I've done lots of research on this. 
I can find a lot of people saying on YouTube that electric cars easily set on fire, but I can't actually find any actual details and real facts and information backing up that story. Hybrid cars are more likely to set on fire than internal combustion engines, but electric vehicles are less likely to set on fire. The hybrid cars are included in the Thatcham report. Couldn't find any UK stats, but in the US, the statistics show gas cars set on fire a lot more than EVs. EVs, it was 0.3%. And gas cars, it was 1.05. In other words, for every 105 gas cars that caught fire, only three electric vehicles caught fire in the US. And there are six electric cars for every 100 gas cars. And therefore, electric vehicles are less likely to catch on fire. Now, it's true, hybrid cars had more fires than battery-only cars because gasoline and batteries is not a good combination in a crash. But I'm not advocating buying a hybrid. It was a great innovation in the past, and I respect the people that had them. But the electric car has moved on so much, especially Tesla. I think the hybrid is a thing of the past, like the internal combustion engine. So if a petrol or diesel car is more likely to catch fire than an electric car, why is the government advice on a car that's been in occlusion that it needs to be quarantined and a distance from other vehicles, it makes no sense to me. Gasoline is a very flammable liquid, and the dense vapours that gasoline gives off that ignite and cause fires. So many manufacturers, Tesla, Ford, most of the Chinese now use the lithium-iron phosphate battery, LFP. Using lithium-iron phosphate as a cathode material because of the lower cost, high safety and low toxicity long cycle life and other factors. LFP batteries are becoming much more popular with EV manufacturers because they're cheaper and safer. I would definitely buy my Tesla again two years ago. There was very little difference in price from second hand to new, only a few thousand pounds. But there's a huge difference now as more and more have come onto the market and some with higher miles. Some Model S's have free supercharging, but even if they don't, uh, if you charge at home, it costs a fraction of the cost of gas, and even Tesla supercharging is half the price of gas, petrol and diesel. So if I was buying again, I would definitely buy a used Tesla. The Teslas in the next few years will get cheaper to below £10,000 as more come onto the market, and the life of the battery is much longer than a diesel. So why is everybody getting so upset? And why do they think that all EVs should be burnt or destroyed and you should buy a diesel? I don't understand. Maybe you do. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Hope you can like and subscribe. And don't forget to take your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. Thanks ever so much. See you next time. Bye.